Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. By surprisingly popular request, we're going to be shooting the Privy Partisan 90 grain soft point in 243 Winchester. And here's your box for that Privy Partisan 90 grain soft point 243 ammo. There isn't a velocity stated on the box anywhere. There's also not really any promo information. Privy Partisan doesn't put a lot of info on their boxes. I will find the velocity info on their website when we do the velocity talk later in this video but for now let's go ahead and just pull this stuff out and take a look at it it's packed in these cardboard holders with a little plastic divider pull one out right here and there it is it's decent looking stuff the brass looks pretty nice nice little soft point bullet let's go shoot it and see how it does and real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact, chambered in 243 Winchester, of course. It's got a 20-inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold FX2 six-power scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 243 stamped right in it. Check out my website, masonleather.com. It will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. I would absolutely love to make you one and coming over the other side I've got my white tailed deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here your velocities for that Privy Partisan 90 grain soft point load out of the 243, minimum 2886, max 2912, average 2896. And look at that spread, 25 feet per second. That's pretty tight for factory ammo. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Privy Partisan 90 grain soft point stuff out of the 243, and we did capture all three bullets two in the block right here and one that popped right out the seam between blocks one and two. It's funny how often that happens if you do this enough. But this one did not table skate or anything like that. It rode in the block and it, it straight up just popped out the seam so we are going to count this one. And mushrooming looks really good. They expanded nicely. Penetration wise, the seam is right at 16 inches. So we're gonna give that one 16 inches of penetration. This one will give 16 and a half, and this one 17 inches of penetration. So very consistent penetration. And then as far as wound cavity, y'all, some of my blocks have some bubbles in it. It's just the nature of the beast. I'm melting down two dozen of these things at a time. Sometimes it happens. It does not affect the performance of the block or how the bullets act in it. It just makes it a little bit tougher to see. So expansion wise or wound cavity wise, it looks like about the two inch mark, these things start to open up. We have a nice little wound cavity going on back, tapers down at about the eight inch mark and then it just keeps on penetrating. And this is really about on par with what I would think we'd see with a 90 grain soft point out of a 243 Winchester. It's not massively explosive, it's not huge, but I think it could do the job if you put the bullets in the right spot. So let's go ahead and dig these two guys out and we'll take a look. All right, y'all, we've got the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and talk about it. That, that pretty partisan 90 grain soft point load out of the 243, we'll jump right into it, weight retention. We saw 76, 80, and 83 grains for an average of about 80 grains of weight retention. That's 89% retained weight, and I am actually pleasantly surprised, almost floored, at how much weight retention these bullets had. These are cheap, you know, at least ostensibly cheap, soft point bullets going relatively quickly. I mean, just look at the photo of these things. They maintained an overwhelming majority of their weight. They're supposedly at least not bonded. They did really, really good. Onto expansion, again, look at the photo. They expanded very well. 0 0.6, 0 0.62, and 0.7 inches respectively, so fairly consistent too. For an average of 0.64 inches expanded diameter, that's 2.6x expansion. Really, really good for such an affordable load. And really good, honestly, for across all the 243 loads I've tested. Pleasantly surprised. 
and the expansion was fairly uniform. Again, look at the photo, nice and even all the way around. That bullet on the right is a little bit jagged out to the side, but I really can't expect more out of such a budget option, or any option for that matter. On to velocity, our high velocity was 29.12, our low was 28.87 for an average of 2896 versus the factory build velocity, and I had to go to their website to find this, it's not listed on the box, of 3,100 feet per second. So we came in on average 204 feet per second slow, and that's about what I'm seeing across the board for 243 loads out of a 20 inch barrel. Remember, I'm shooting this out of a 20 inch barrel, it's what I have, that's why I'm using it, and I think it's appropriate for a lot of your youth rifles that are out there in 243. A lot of people are using 20 inch barrels in 243. We're not testing varmint ammo here. I don't expect to hit the factory stated velocity out of my particular rifle. But what we can do is compare different ammos to each other out of the same rifle to see sort of where they fall in the scale. And this is about par for the course. If you got a longer barrel, you're gonna see higher velocity. And her estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards is about 2,606 feet per second. On to penetration, we saw very consistent penetration, 16, 16 and a half, and 17 inches for an average of about 16 and a half inches of penetration. Very consistent within one inch, all three bullets. And that's about the penetration range that I've seen for a lot of your standard hunting loads in 243 Winchester, your medium game loads, your 90, 95, 100 grain soft point stuff. It's in that, you know, really 15 to 18 inch range. This is right there. So I'm actually very pleased with it. On to kinetic energy with a 90 grain bullet going on average 2,896 feet per second, we're looking at 1,676 foot pounds at the muzzle and an estimated 1,357 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. And that's pretty par for the course for a lot of your medium game hunting loads out of 243. It's in that general range. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on that privy partisan 90 grain soft point load out of the 243. I was pleasantly surprised across the board at the performance of this ammo. Great weight retention, 89% for a non-bonded cheap bullet. You can't ask for more than that. Excellent expansion, 2.6x, it's gonna make a hole. I stud at 2.6x, it's gonna make a hole. Velocity, it was par for the course for a lot of your 243 ammo out of a 20 inch barrel, about 200 feet per second slow, that's about what we're seeing. Got a longer barrel, you'll get more velocity. And penetration is right there in that range with some of the best performers in this cartridge. 16 and a half inches on average, that's gonna do what you need it to do for anything you're hunting with this stuff. You know, you might be hunting white-tailed deer, smaller white-tailed deer, pronghorn. But I think for your general, you know, deer hunting, medium game hunting on the smaller side, I think this could be a decent option, especially at the price point. You really can't argue with it. And it actually performed better than a lot of your more expensive, better known options that are out there. Go back and watch my 243 Winchester hunting ammo playlist on my channel. There are some, you know, better known American brands and such that, that didn't do what this stuff did. So at the end of the day, I really can't ask for more out of this ammo. It performed better than I expected. If you've used this ammo on game, let me and everybody else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser and click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.